Hey everyone, it is Thursday, February 9th. Um, beautiful, sunny day. It started out cold and cloudy. Turned out to be gorgeous, which is just fine by me. And then again, it's supposed to maybe snow this weekend. You never know. That's how Knoxville, Tennessee's weather is. So, um, I had some eye opening thoughts yesterday. My friend, I'll call her Jane, that texted me. I haven't heard from her in a long time, as in a couple years. Um, she's the kind of person that once she finds somebody, all her friends are, you know, gone. And so I just, you know, let it go. We've known each other, like I said, since high school. So we're not as close as we were. So um, we shared some texts yesterday. And there are some things that, you know, how am I going to put this? You're going to be like the rest of your life. There are certain things that as a person, you have your quirks, you have your good, you have your bad, you're going to be. And then there are things where you, or at least I, try to improve on myself. And first of all, I want to send out to the universe to all the people that I was ever rude or selfish or self-centered to. I, I am so sorry. My um, friend Jane and I, we were te texting. She had um, told me that a, a person that we went to high school with had passed away right before New Year's of a heart attack. And I asked her some things and um, like I s read his obit, went on um, online and read his obit and you know, cause I remember one of the, um, some girl, I can't remember her name, that he dated with all the time, you know, did they get married? She wasn't listed. Anyway, I, I asked her a couple things, and she, like, totally blew that off. And it was like, okay. Well, he, she said, um, he's not married. Well, obviously, he's not married now. And maybe, you know, but he's got a couple kids, so maybe they never got married. But who is he with to have children with? She, she didn't know. It's like, well, maybe it's somebody he met in college. And then the different things go on, and we start talking about this and that, and and um, I said one thing, and she totally ignored that, and was talking about dating, about her, you know, and different things like that, and <coughs> different about the job and about my job, and you know, I told her how after COVID, you know, I was put on for a lot like everybody else in the world and then I was laid off and she didn't say anything she didn't say oh my gosh that's terrible you know she's like well I've been working the same of course she's a nurse and she's got like you know every letter out of the alphabet past her name I've been working there 30 years and but my boss is this and you know different things and converted back to her and you know again Everybody is selfish to a point and everybody is self-centered to a point and you have to have mental health days and take care of you days And I am no problem with that. I, I mean, I'm all for that um, But when somebody tells you, you know, I've worked at this company for this long and she doesn't say oh my gosh That's so terrible. You know, I was lucky to be able because of being in the nursing field even though I'm not sure exactly She told me what she does. I remember it has to do with training or something. Again, don't don't know. <laughs> but nothing. No sympathy. None, none whatsoever. Not like, oh, you know, I told her how I tempt. And, you know, and nothing. <laughs> and then um, she asked me about my cats. And I told her about my cats. And I told her, you know, one was in November. The other one was in December. Unexpected and... Well, I have three cats, and, uh, you know, and then I told her about my mom. She goes, oh, I'm sorry about your mom. I, I mean, I, I, I don't, again, it was just, I didn't realize how self-centered she was. And again, everybody is self-centered, and I'm all for that to a point, but have some empathy for people, you know? And I... 
have worked on myself to not be a doormat, to not be a yes person. I'm, you know, the kind of person that used to, would, if somebody, if I didn't have anything to do, and unfortunately, I, this was in my adulthood, not just as a kid and, in, in, you know, teenager and in early 20s. This is, you know, when you get up in your 20s and 30s and 40s and, you know, on, um, I would drop whatever plans I have or I would agree to last minute thing, you know, it's like, well, just because self-police, um, people pleaser, um, and you, with my other friend who I, you know, I've made things, boundaries, things I'm just not going to take anymore, um, and I was really... I was really shocked at the revelations, and then it made me start thinking about the things that I have done, you know, um, good and bad, how I've been selfish, how I have, you know, ignored other people, um, and it's like, at least, uh, you know, I am trying to improve myself, I am trying to be a better person, I am... Sending out love to the universe, to people. Sometimes I'm I'm too friendly and too eager. It's like okay, I need to back that down. You know, uh, I'm not a people pleaser anymore. But I do, you know, I'll say hi to everybody in the morning. And there's some people that just don't say hi, so I just kind of nod or whatever, you know. But if she had told me, like, you know, one of her animals. I think she said has arthritis it's like oh my gosh you know that's terrible or whatever anyway it was just really eye-opening and you know it's she's not she doesn't live in the same state as I do so it's not like okay I'm just never ever gonna you know see her again type of a thing but it's like I, I'll text her on her birthday I, if I see something or if she texts me but I'm not gonna just like block her there are some people that I have blocked, um, so an ex that, I mean, I even had to go on LinkedIn to block an ex, but anyway, but I, again, it was just very eye-opening to see how much I have grown. I was very proud of myself, but also made me think about, oh my gosh, the things that you have done, um, and, you know, I, we should all work together and we should all work to lift ourselves up, especially women, instead of putting each other down or being a competition. Um, so I don't, I don't know, but, um, well, I just, I just am amazed and proud of myself. I, I think is the biggest thing. I am very proud of myself. I am, uh, there was a few things that she said that I, I wasn't hateful, but it was like, um, I'm not talking about whatever it was and then she was it's like well you you said this and I go back up to the text and I said but you said this like oh no I was talking about something else and anyway I'm I know I'm not making any sense to you but yeah so I just hope that if you have people in your life that are toxic and that you feel like a doormat or a, a people pleaser, a yes ma'am type of a person it, and it's something you have to slowly do it's it's um, something you have to build up in yourself and work through and it's hard it's not easy but I wish everybody out there happiness and love and loving yourself and sticking up for yourself and not being a doormat and that's my rant for Thursday. I guess Thursday will be rant day. But again, I was just fabric last. Well, I can't say the word. <laughs> Faber. I'm not going to even try anymore. <laughs> but I, I was just really stunned. I can say that word. So again, I hope you guys have a great Thursday. Um, do something fun. Um, eat ice cream tonight or something, you know. And I will talk to you all later in the funny pages, as they say, boy, I'm old. <laughs>